Welcome back to another Honkai Impact 3 video. It's your homie Cody GT and on today's video my boys there is a lot that I wanted to go over as far as announcements and something new that I saw that I'm not sure any of you are aware of. You may be. I'm not too sure. You can let me know in the comments below but we'll go over that in just a second. Um, like I mentioned there are some announcements that I want to go over on the global side of Honkai Impact 3. Um, but with that also being said, my boys, I was going to go ahead and do a Luna Kindred gameplay because um, that was the second most requested thing to go ahead and do from my community tab. So I am going to do that gameplay, just not in today's video. I'm probably going to do it in um, my next video because I think this video is going to be just a tad bit too long to go ahead and throw a gameplay on as well. So be on the lookout for that video as well as some information on the new open world, uh, the Shixel HQ. Um, a lot of you guys requested that as well, so I will definitely be doing a video about that also. So I'll probably merge the Luna Kindred gameplay with the um, new open world. I'm just going over that as well in my next video. So be on the lookout for that. I have not forgotten about that. That's why I have her on the screen right now, matter of fact. Um, but with that being said, uh, my boys, I did want to go over some announcements on the global side and as well as something that I discovered that I'm not too sure many of you are aware of. My thumbnail and title probably already spoiled it, so uh, you can let me in the, uh, let me know in the comments below if you already knew about it. Um, if I'm you know late to this, which I probably am, I'm, pro I'm probably late to this, but I thought I would go ahead and share it nonetheless, uh, just in case there are some of you that did not know, and um, I just haven't been notified about it on my Discord or you know in my comment section of my channel, nothing. So um, I figured I would go ahead and uh, go over that, but. Uh, with that also being said, go ahead and join the Discord today. The link is in the description. Um, you can go ahead and discuss uh, the global side of Honkai Impact 3 with like-minded people. And with that also being said, if you enjoyed the video today, go ahead and drop a like. It's greatly appreciated. It means a lot to me. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe for more content like this and much more in the future. And hit the notification bell to stay notified every time I do upload a video or go live. Now with all of that out of the way, let's go over the announcements. But before we do, let me jump over here to the Valkyries. Uh, because I can now evolve my Sakuno Rondo to double S ring. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Um, and we will go ahead and get that done and dust it. There you go. You see the sass. They look amazing. Now, as you can tell, my Sakuno Rondo, I have not um, invested too highly into her. Um, as you can see, there's no good cross or stigmatas on her. Um, I still have her at level 64. Uh, so I don't use her that often, but I still like her. She's an awesome Valkyrie. I just, I don't use her that often as far as a psychic type Valkyrie. But, um, you know, I'll, I'll use her every so often. And now that she's double S rank, I might throw some more investment into her. But there it goes. Sakuno Rondo, double S rank. That is awesome. Now, moving on from there, let's go over the announcements uh, quickly. And then we'll get into what I'm talking about as far as the surprise. So what I really wanted to go over um, mainly is a new focus supply is going to be arriving tomorrow on the 21st. Um, there is going to be Focus Supply A, which comes first. That's going to go ahead and present Sakura Blossom and the Selene Stigmata set as the up drop rate. And then Focus Supply B, which I am extremely excited for. And the one I'm actually going to go ahead and summon on, I'll tell you that, guys, um, right now, uh, is the Skull in Haiti or the Alpha Wolves, I believe they were also called, and the Nagu Mitsu um, Stigmata set. So I really want to summon on this because the Skull in Haiti or the Alpha Wolves is a gauntlet that I do want for my Knight Squire. And the Nagumitsu uh, Stigmata set, not necessarily the Stigmata set in itself, but the mid um, Nagumitsu is one that I want uh, really, really bad. So I am definitely going to go ahead and summon on Focus B, which is on uh, Christmas Eve through the 31st of December. So um, there you go. That is the new Focus Supply that's going to be coming tomorrow. Um, and like I mentioned, I'm going to go ahead and summon on it. Now, whether you should summon or not, I don't believe you should. I think you should save your crystals um, because we know that God Kiana is probably coming around the corner um, in the month of January. So you probably want to save your crystals as much as possible because she's also gear dependent um, to where you really want to get her gears to fully max out her potential. So um, you're going to have to have crystals to pull her and also pull her gears. You're probably going to want to save. Um, but some other notable four-star weapons in this focus supply, the dual pistols, Thunder Kakaku is back um, for the Katana Void Blade, which is nice. The Cannon Quantum Destroyer Type 2, uh, Greatsword Blood Dance, which is awesome. Cross is the Pledge of Sakura, and the Gauntlets is Cinderhawk. Okay, I'm getting this loading screen. Okay, we're good. 
We're good. We're good. <laughs> All right. Don't know what that was about. Now, moving on, the four star stigmatas. We have the Celine. Um, we have the Plank, uh, Lear Scarlet, Einstein, Cleopatra. And um, for the Focus Supply B, we have the Dual Pistols, the applicable one for uh, Ritual Kalen. Um, also, the Second Sacred Relic. We have the Raikiri for the Katana. Um, we have the B, the PRI, excuse me, for the Cannon. Seventh Sacred Relic for the Great Sword. Oath of Judah for the Cross, which is fantastic. And then the Gauntlets, of course. And then for the four star uh, Stigmatas, here we go again with the loading. <laughs> we have Nagamitsu, of course. We have the Bronya set. We also have the Tesla Band. And we have the Clipped. I believe that's how you say it, and the Kalen Him set. So there you go. And there is the percentage for the stigmatas and the weapon, the updrop rate. So um, there you go right there. And that is going to be the focus applied. But like I mentioned, just save your crystals. Do not spend. Uh, it's not worth it, especially what's coming right around the corner here very soon in the month of January. At least what I'm speculating for you guys. Now, moving on to the thing that I discovered while I was here. So I went to this little cell phone here which is new to the new update and everything and if you go over to the archives oh no my phone's about to die of course my phone's always about to die while i'm recording or streaming fun fact now while i was here i saw that red dot on the valkyries i was like okay what does that mean i was scrolling over i saw one of the red dots meant you know i pulled luna kindred and shadow knight so i was like okay that makes sense but i scrolled over some more and my boys Huntress Kallen is on the global side of Honkai Impact 3. Now, let me state, I don't know if this is a glitch because this has happened before. For example, they had uh, Sukuno Rondo here, but Sukuno Rondo was known that she was coming. But what I also mean is they had Ritual Kallen's soul that you can obtain through Memorial Arena before Memorial Arena was even here. They also had uh, Ice Himiko's fragments that you can farm before Ice Himiko was even here. And then they removed it just like they did with Ice Kallen. Um, not Ice Callen, uh, Ritual Callen. They removed her souls as well. So I don't know if this is a glitch or what the case may be or if this is what's going to be coming soon. Um, I have no clue, guys. But yes, Huntress Callen is here or ha or they call her, I believe, I'm going to butcher this name, uh, Sudan Jaeger is how you say it. I'm not too sure. But either way, um, she is on the global side of Honkai Impact 3, at least in the archive, so you can at least check her out and her features and equipment, stuff like that. I thought this was pretty cool and wanted to go ahead and show you this in a video. So, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, she is the Awakened form from Valkyrie Ranger. Um, she is also known as Asta La Vista Kalen because the weapon she uses and her ultimate is pretty cool. So it kind of reminds people of that. So she is a mecha type, a mid-range AOE DPS, strong DPS potential, excellent self-healing, which is awesome. So her DPS and survivability is through the roof, which is awesome. Her main combination, ignite, impaired, and slow. Her ultimate battle suit with teleportation power, capable of battering forward-facing enemies. Um, and basically you tap and hold the attack button to continuously attack enemies in front of you. Basically she gets all these guns around her and you can just destroy people with the guns um, you can see right there the description I'm not going to read through all of that because it's just a lot to go over <laughs> um, and her leader skill speed boost team gains 10% uh, move speed mech type characters gain 5% attack speed mech type characters gain 5% attack speed again I don't know why that's repeated twice but it is I think that's a glitch as well but it is what it is now the formation type we have Yamabuki armor and Valkyrie chariot for those reasons described right there I don't know if that is the best team combination you can have for her but I'm sure you guys my SEA and JP players can let me know in the comments below what her best team combination is or what's you know the best move for her now as you can see the um, the uh, what's it called the <laughs> Schrodinger band my goodness I blanked out there the Schrodinger band uh, Sigmata set is the applicable Sigmata set for her and this weapon right here is the applicable weapon blooded saints which uh, sounds awesome it's a really really cool sounding weapon see it, it, the equipment's not available yet so you can't even take a look at it but it boosts physical damage and applies hunted brand on the target so that's awesome there's gonna be a brand mark she can put on a, uh, enemies and the Schrodinger band I guess for the boosting of physical and crit rate damage so that is awesome as you can see, I have two of the Stigmata bands. I don't have the bottom, so I would like to go ahead and get the bottom to complete that set, but we'll see about that. Now, 
that is what I wanted to go ahead and show you as far as that secret that I discovered or stumbled upon is Huntress Callen. She is on the global side of Honkai Impact 3, uh, just in the archives, not anything announced about her. She's not available to go ahead and try and farm or anything of that nature. She's just in the archives. So I don't know if that means she's uh, going to be coming soon, if she's the next Valkyrie to be coming. From my understanding, the next one with God Kiana would be Ice Himiko. Uh, reason being why Ice Himiko's fragments were in the shop before they probably should have been. But I don't know. I'm not sure how this is going to work out, how it's going to play out. I'm sure you guys can comment below and let me know what you guys think or let me know how it was done on the other versions of the game. But that is that right there. So um, that is everything that I wanted to go over as far as that go. And before I go ahead and end the video, I'll go ahead and end it on a YOLO single on the standard supply. I got enough to go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And then we'll go ahead and end the video. So let's jump back over here and let's jump here. There we go. So we'll go ahead and use this one standard supply card, YOLO single. See if we can get anything. I don't know. I'm not guaranteed anything here so let's go ahead and see what we can get and then we're going to end the video so let's see anything good yeah something good yep yeah. oh okay you know what i will take that i will take a valkyrie awesome so we have some uh valkyrie chariot fragments i will definitely go ahead and take that now with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here Remember, be on the lookout for Luna Kindred's gameplay as well as the Shixo HQ gameplay with some detailed information about it, what I think about it, and how I go about it um, in my next video. But with that being said, I hope you found the video slightly informative or entertaining or a little bit of both. And with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. And until next time, I'm, next time my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody GT, and I'm out.